Hey, what's up guys? DJ Pete out here. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to import your Serato library into Tractor. When you've been DJing in one software for a long time, you have a library built up. It's going to take a lot of time to move from one library type to another. So here I'm going to teach you guys how to make that move a little bit easier. So first thing we're going to do is take all your music and then you're going to move it into uh, iTunes. For uh, the first step, create a, an iTunes playlist. I just chose the name Serato Detractor just to make it a little bit easier to see. Drop all the songs that you want to import into that playlist. Uh, for this example, I'm just going to do one song. I do suggest just doing, if you have a large library, doing it in batches. If you're used to Serato, maybe do it by the crate. Or if your crate's really big, maybe by sub crate. And then once it's in a uh, playlist, what you're going to want to do is open Serato. Give it a second to load here. And notice I already have a Serato Detractor crate. This, this crate always stays in my crate list just for this. Then I take the songs that are in my iTunes playlist, then move them into the Serato crate. And if you haven't already analyzed the songs, say if you're importing new songs, you're going to want to just go ahead and make sure you have the right BPM selected. Just analyze the songs. Load them up. What you're going to want to do, this is very important, is that you make sure you put a, a cue point at the first beat drop, or any beat drop that's on the one. So. That's pretty on point. Let's rewind this one just by habit. I do one at the beginning of the song and one at the first drop. Now that that's done and that's saved, go ahead and close out of Serato. Now what putting the putting the cue point at the first beat or any beat on the one does is that it, it makes a nice and clear point to put your beat grid. So what I'm going to do now is open the Tractor SSL database importer and this can be found on the Native Instruments forum. I'm going to go ahead and put the link to this post in the description of this video, so don't worry about it. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up this program. It's for Windows and Mac. You're going to go to Import Mode Crates. Then you're going to select the crate location. And go to Serato. And it's going to be in Sub Crates. And you're just going to load up the tractor to Serato to Tractor Crate and hit Convert. And just because it's one song, got to finish really fast. Hit continue, then exit. Then we're going to go ahead and open Tractor. Then we're going to open up the iTunes in here. Having the iTunes playlist and Serato Crate near to each other are very important for this fact. Once you open iTunes, you want everything in this playlist to mirror the crate so you can just think of this as your Serato Crate. So once you get in here, even though it's been converted to Tractor, you still need to import it into Collection. You can go go ahead and do that. Make sure your all your analyze stuff is right. I like to go ahead and analyze the key and the gain as well. Let it do its thing. And when it's done, I'm gonna go ahead and load it into a deck. And notice the all the cue points I set in Serato are loaded in, as well as the BPM information that Serato inputted. But what we want to do, and what I didn't do, is I didn't add a beat grid in. So what I usually do is, on the nice first hard kick drum, add a beat grid in, lock it in. Check it, make sure it looks pretty good all the way across. Looks nice and tight. We're done. Now, I know I'll make it look simple just doing one song at a time, but if you have the cue point set up to a hard kick on the one, just go ahead and hitting the cue point and laying down a beat grid and just going through your, your library. It may take some time, but it won't take that long. <laughs> 